In this video, I'm going to explain how you use the fancy feature après avoir in French. This is a really good construction to use in French because it counts as complex language, so it will gain you extra marks. Uh, it's quite a simple rule to learn. You simply need to use après avoir, which translates as after having, and then you need the past participle form of the verb. Um, as a quick reminder, um, if you have an ER verb, to make a past participle, you remove the ER and add an E with an accent. If you have an IR verb, you remove it and add an I. And if you have an RE verb, you remove the RE and add a U. So here are a few examples. Après avoir fait, after having done. Après avoir mangé, after having eaten. Après avoir regardé, after having watched. Après avoir parlé, after having spoken. Après avoir fini, after having finished. Et après avoir vendu, after having sold. There's just one slight alteration we need to make if you're using a verb, which is a van der Tramp verb. So as a reminder, van der Tramp verbs are verbs to do with movement. Uh, for example, going, arriving, leaving, that sort of thing. Um, if you're talking about a verb of movement, we have to swap out the avoir and instead use an être. So you end up with sentences like après être allé, which in English would still um, be translated as after having gone, but we're actually using the verb être instead of avoir. Après être venu, after having uh, come. Après être retourné, after having returned. Après être tombé, after having fallen. Après être sorti, after having gone out. If you're using the um, être verb, so you're dealing with a verb of movement, don't forget that you do have to make it agree. So if it's um, you're talking about a girl or a girl is speaking, you need to add an extra e to the past participle. So after having gone, from a girl's perspective, written down, would add an extra e, après être allé. However, if it was a boy uh, saying this or writing this down, he would not need to add any extra e's, après être allé. Here are some final examples. Après avoir regardé, after having watched. Après avoir parlé, after having spoken. Après être allé, after having been. And après être sorti, after having gone out. Pause the video and see if you can work out what these two sentences should be in French. Press play when you're ready to see the answers. So, after having bought should be après avoir acheté. After having arrived, well, arrived is a verb of movement, so I've had to swap out avoir for être. Après être arrivé. 